What's going on guys? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics and today we're going to be talking about radiation protection for patients in fluoroscopy. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the IAEA's 10 pearls for radiation protection of patients in fluoroscopy. So let's get right to it. Number one, you wanna maximize the distance between the x-ray tube and the patient. The further that distance is gonna be, the more dose savings that you will have for your patient. Number two, you want to minimize the distance between the patient and the image intensifier. So you want the image intensifier really close to the patient, and that's going to serve to also reduce the radiation dose to the patient. Number three, minimize fluoroscopy time. You want to minimize the amount of beam on time that you have. Beam on time is going to be directly proportional to the patient's radiation dose. So the less time that we have radiation entering the patient, the lower the radiation dose will be for our patient. Number four, check the settings on your machine and make sure that you're using pulsed fluoroscopy with the lowest frame rate that you can use to give you the image quality that's going to be acceptable for whatever task that you're doing fluoro for. The lower the frame rate and the lower the number of pulses, the less radiation that's going to be entering the patient. Number five, you want to avoid exposing the same skin area in multiple projections. So if you're going to be using multiple projections, you can have some skin dose savings, but those skin dose savings go away if those projections overlap. So you want to try to prevent overlapping of the useful beam when you're using multiple projections. Number six, this is more something to just be aware of that larger patients or thicker body parts are gonna require more radiation dose in order to penetrate the patient and provide an adequate image. So be aware that if you're imaging larger body parts or larger patients, that the entrance skin exposure to the patient is going to likely be much higher than what it would be for an average size patient. Number seven, oblique projections are also going to increase the entrance skin dose. And so just like number six before, if we have increases in the entrance skin dose, then that's going to increase the likelihood or probability of injury to the patient and also increase likelihood or probability that we'll have to follow up with the patient later to make sure that there's no permanent injury. Number eight, if it's possible, we want to avoid the use of magnification by decreasing the field of view, making the field of view smaller that's going to increase our radiation dose by a factor of four. So we want to make sure that we are not magnifying in on a particular area if we don't need to. Number nine, and this is one that we see can really lead to some harmful effects for the patient. We want to minimize the number of frames and cine runs that we do during the procedure. We want to keep those cine runs to a clinically acceptable level, and we want to take advantage of last image hold capabilities of the equipment instead of using cine images whenever possible. And number 10, use the collimation. We want to collimate only to the area of interest. This is different than using magnification. Collimation is actually going to reduce the amount of radiation that's entering the patient by collimating only to the area that's necessary. So there you have it. There's your 10 tips and tricks for reducing the amount of patient radiation exposure in fluoroscopy. This goes hand in hand with how you protect yourself in fluoroscopy. And so protecting yourself and protecting your patient is gonna be a mutually beneficial exercise. So we wanna do everything that we can to protect both ourselves and our patients whenever we're operating with fluoroscopy equipment. If you have questions or you have comments, feel free to shoot them over to us. We'd be happy to take a look at your fluoroscopy program and figure out where we might be able to help. We will see you next time. Thank you.